With a lot of monsoon coverage at 6.02, the storm rolled into the valley last night. Here's some of the uh, activity, the lightning strikes from our South Mountain Tower camp. Uh, so there was plenty of thunder and plenty of lightning, and it lasted for hours. It seems it was the East Valley that really felt the brunt of the monsoon storm the most, with really some shocking damage out around Mesa's Falcon Field. Yeah, planes that were parked outside during the storm last night, we're now seeing those this morning, completely overturned, even blown across the tarmac. Irene Snyder joining us live there uh, from Mason Falcon Field and the images that you have this morning are just uh, surprising. Yeah, absolutely, Desiree and Ron. Well, thankfully, things are not quite as crazy as when I checked in with you last a half an hour ago. At this point, the sun's starting to come up. The rain, a little more of a drizzle at this point, but definitely the damage left behind. You can take a look as you had mentioned those planes. Now, we're staying safe underneath an awning here right now. There's definitely a lot of lightning around, but you can see across the street here, there are those planes that are there uh, that are uh, at the airport and completely overturned. We spoke to someone out here who told us about 40 planes were damaged because of this, and some of them were even inside the Hangers. It's not like just the planes that were parked outside that were impacted. The ones that were inside were impacted as well. We saw a lot of uh, tiles off of the hangers that were completely ripped up, trees that were torn down, just so much damage. I mean, even driving into work today, I saw trees down, but nothing as bad as what I've seen here in Mesa since we've been here at the airport. Uh, thankfully, the weather, as I mentioned, is not quite as bad as it was half an hour, an hour ago. The rain has tapered off mostly at this point, but we're still seeing a lot of lightning. We're still having thunder as well. Um, and we're hoping to check in more with the people here at the airport and get a fuller extent of the damage. But again, what they're telling us now is about 40 planes that were damaged at this point. So again, trying to get more information, but this is what we're seeing out here at this point, doing our best to stay safe and get you all the updated information. But for now, we'll send it back to you, Desiree and Ron. Wow, 40 planes. Irene, thank you. Power outages reported across the valley, and that was because power poles were even knocked down in many places, including near 17th, 17th Street here in Oak. And that's where we find our Danielle Miller live at this hour. Danielle, quite surprising to see these poles literally split in half, some of them. It is, yes. What a absolute mess out here. So this is Oak right here that we're talking about. Look at that, a massive power line uh, pole. Everything just completely ripped from the bottom of that pole there. You can see the power lines actually lining the entire street right here. You can see another massive pole down right here, uh, not too far from this first one here. So there are several of these poles down right now. So it was uh, probably, I'm assuming, a ripple effect. Once uh, one of them went down, they kind of just took all of them down. So there are uh, quite a few APS crews out here this morning working on this. So we did speak with a few people uh, who live in this area. They do say they actually have power at this time, but uh, not sure exactly where any type of power outage are spanning because of this issue down here. But yeah, as I mentioned, guys, uh, power lines just completely lining the streets right here. Oak is completely closed down at this time, so no travel is allowed here right on this direct street. So uh, if you have some employees that work, that live here, <laughs> we got one, in, we, we got one, yeah, we're... You don't live here, okay. You work here. You work here, okay. What do you think about everything going on? Uh, this is crazy. Like, hey, I just shocked. I'm trying to just, I'm just doing my job. They told me to just pull up here, and then I seen all these poles, and I'm just like, wow, that's crazy. He's trying to keep people away. Yeah, to keep that's all. Make sure you don't get shocked. Just stay out the way. Make sure everybody just, you know, stay safe out here. That's all awesome. I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Yeah. We appreciate it. Keeping all of us safe out here. Yeah, uh, quite the mess. But uh, as uh, people have told us that they still have power in this area. But as I mentioned, the um, street completely blocked off at this time. So uh, nobody is allowed to uh, leave. People having trouble getting out of their homes right now, heading uh -huh. to work. Uh, they are going to... Uh, have an issue with that this morning. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Literally right on top center of those vehicles. Danielle, great report. Thank you. You know, there are homes in the valley that suffered a lot of damage, and now as the sun is starting to come up, uh, we're seeing more of it here. There's a neighborhood in Scottsdale that got quite a scare from the monsoon overnight. Here's just one home at about Scottsdale and a McDowell. Crews weren't sure if they were looking at a roof or a carport, but you can see it was torn off 
the side of that house taking much of the uh, top of it uh, as well. Fox 10 spoke to a neighbor saying in 20 years of living in that part of town, she's never seen anything like this. This was the craziest storm I've ever witnessed in my entire years here. And Gabriel and I live in these two units here on the end. And I looked out the pat looked out my window when I saw this wind just whipping circularly and raging like I have never ever seen in my entire life. And all of a sudden I see all this wood that's over there land on my neighbor's house and I'm like, oh my God, their whole roof came off. So it was the carport from the back that went flying over all of our units and landed out front. All right, so now we have not heard any reports yet of injuries. But in this neighborhood, as a result of the storm, there is plenty of damage. It's going to be a big day and possibly several days of cleanup. And taking a look at some video sent in by our Fox 10 viewers in Litchfield Park here, the rain was really coming down uh, pretty hard in this neighborhood just off of Jack Rabbit Trail and Camelback Road. So Doug Benton, thank you for sending us this video. Not only was there some heavy rain, but you see that mm -hmm. lightning too off in the distance. And check out some of the storm activity in the East Valley. This out there near Old Town Scottsdale, Tamira Devlin Mize sending us this video of all of the lightning strikes that seem to be happening one after another off there in the distance.